Work begins early on the morning news, real early. By 2 a.m., a host of producers and our famous angry news writers are busy preparing the broadcast. Deadlines are often tight, and sleep is always in short supply. It's not like you, you like, I wake up and I'm bouncing out of bed and ready to go. I mean, I like roll over and fall out of bed, trudge to the bathroom and kind of, you know, it takes me, you know, by the time I've washed my face, I'm kind of waking up and you just get used to that groggy feeling you have every time that alarm goes off at 3.45. Are you awake? But most of us can't wait to get to work. Good morning. If you have five minutes. Okay, thanks, Harold. Sure. Let's go to work. Studying the. Uh, by the time the show starts, most of the segments and skits have already been assembled by producers like Tony Molly and Bonnie Teagle. Uh uh. But much of what goes out on the air seemingly comes out of midair because the majority of the show is entirely unscripted. Now, let's have a look at uh, some of the numbers, please. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm getting the audio wrap. It's it, there's a, we have the that is Ray rap. Bruni our producer we have another producer called Steve Weekly who isn't as kind to us he <laughs> get him off the air That's, he's got a very heavy South accent it's <laughs> and that ladies and gentlemen is the big time rap Barbara Carlos I, chemistry I kind of hate to use that word because it's such a talent word for news and oh let's put these two together you know. Sandy and Bill and see if they have chemistry. I hate to use that because it's something else. It's something more than that. We genuinely like each other and care about each other. <laughs> but every day, uh, it's always math, a I'm team sorry, effort. You know, all the time. Well, he the was high so math proud. Stuff. I was so proud of my teams. With the four of us out there, there's some days where we sit back and all of a sudden Barbara or Carlos or I'll go, you know what, I'm dead today. You guys have to you know, work the show and, and, and everybody's ready to pick up the slack. So this is her first big trip. And so, uh, She'll be back in a month, though. She'll be back on the air every oh, month. Could you? <laughs> oh, no! There. He just hit her in the head with the <laughs> microphone! <laughs> he did! Oh, no. oh, oh, cut away! This oh, is getting ugly! This is terrible! You know, oh, man! Now, if you're wondering where some of the so called content of the morning news comes from, a good bet is the control room, where our great director, Len Goodside, resides. Cut! All that kind of funny stuff that we are surprised about. Well, it's no surprise to Len because he's the one who put it on. He's an integral, vital, I, I can't overstate. People think, and it's a mistake, they think, oh, it's Carlos, Barber, Mark, and Sam. There's a lot more people involved. Here's what's happening right here. You can see clear skies all the way through, but we have, there's still, whoops, hang on. Securities. They're throwing stuff and I'd like to go on record right here and now saying, these are okay. my gags, folks. We do this, have it's a my nice stuff. And they just read it. Did you see broadcast news where it goes in one ear and out? It's exactly the same thing here. I tell them everything comes right out. And they all laugh and they think they're funny. It's me, folks. It really is me. There are, of course, many other characters who help shape the show. Magic with Bob is really Bob Maislin, one of our cameramen. And then there's Neil Levine, our infamous stage director. I caught you with Richard Simmons. Good morning, I'm Carlos Amesco. Mike Tyson goes on a Ferrari. So as the morning news embarks on year seven, we'd like to thank you for watching. And also thank our colleagues and friends behind the scenes for making sure the show actually gets on the air today and every day. I just want you to know that you are my newscast of choice. I cannot get through a morning without watching Channel 5, seeing Gail go down a water slide or Jennifer up in that helicopter. And Sam, I depend on you to tell me what I'm doing with my life. So <laughs> I just want you to know you've got a viewer. <laughs> so good. I've never actually woken up early enough to see the show, but I hear it's terrific and I gotta start Hello, working Barbara, out. Mark, yeah, you know, that's six. That's a fine anniversary number, but not nearly as cool as... The nine. Nine.